Okay, everybody, since people are wondering, probably wondering, okay, when are you going to finally do something that's actually technical instead of just all this gym stuff? Well, here it is. I'm actually going to show you guys a little bit of Ubuntu 10.4, aka Lucid. And I apologize right now because I'm too cheap to get an LCD screen, so you have to do a little bit of flickering as this boots up. And of course, you have the typical drum roll that you hear all the time with Ubuntu. So now, if you excuse me, I'll go ahead and put my credentials in. Yep, so. Right now, let me turn this light on. Okay, I can tell this video quality is really bad at this point, And I really look like it's just a garbled up blob. But anyway, let me go ahead and type in my credentials. Back on to the boss. As you can tell, the audio is still the same. And right now, I'm going to actually make it a little bit easier on you guys. And actually go into applications video and of course my favorite record it now so you don't have to see all this flickering and I do that now okay as you guys can see I'm actually just opened up recording now so now I can actually talk to you guys while using this while everything being all jittery with the screen so let me go ahead and minimize this and just talk to you a little bit about what's on Ubuntu as you guys can see there are plenty of applications you can actually download and use one thing I had fun with earlier was actually Wine, so I can actually use certain Windows programs. And out of all these, I actually got found that Media Coder actually works pretty well. So using Media Coder on here is pretty much like using it in Windows. So open up Media Coder. Of course, I'm going to get an error message because you'll see it pointing to Media Coder, but it's not going to directly open it in Wine. Oh, actually, it actually does open in Wine this time perfectly. And when I use it, it actually opens, it works just like it does in Windows, even opens up Firefox 2. Media Coders website. So I guess you exit out of Firefox. First, I'll minimize it because I'm going to go back to it later on. Then, it's like I do in Windows, I right click on it to actually exit out of Media Coder. And unfortunately, that's one it's one of the areas where Linux actually falls short on because right now I'm actually using, um, as I said earlier, recording now, it's a real good screen capture program. I tried XVid Cap, but it was known to actually lock up on me a lot. When I say locked up a lot, I mean it locked up a lot. And as far as audio video is concerned, the only thing that's really good is really PDV Video Editor and of course KDN Live. PDV Video Editor was pretty decent, but it was really slugs and didn't really have anything, while KDN Live was pretty much the best you're going to get on Linux. Pretty decent. You know, basically about the same thing you'll get with Windows Media Player. Sorry, what you get with Windows Media Center. So it's basically that slash iMovie. So it's decent, but not the best. And of course, you also have DVD Styler and Bum. Sorry, Bum Bono DVD. I use Bum Bono DVD, and it is probably the most overhyped program in history because, in my home opinion, it just simply does not work. Just like DVD Author. However, DVD Styler is pretty much the best you're going to get for editing DVDs on a Linux machine. It's pretty much the quality of stuff you've seen almost in a Windows machine, so it's pretty good. For the straight up voice recording, you have the sound recorder, and then of course you have Audacity. It's both of these programs basically work the same. And then of course my favorite media player, VLC. Gotta love that. Okay, so you guys are programmers. We have Bog Instructor. Which is good for doing Python and WX Windows programs. Model development, of course, model develop for, of course, model development. NetBeans, oh, sorry about that. NetBeans was definitely for Java programming, a little bit of C. And finally, WX Form Builder, which is used for WX C. Really good stuff in here. Now we also have your current your Office Suite, OpenOffice.org presentation, just like PowerPoint. Spreadsheet is just like Excel. Word processor just like Word, and they also left out base, which pretty much works the same as Access, which is more or less your 
database program, and of course, they even have evolution, mail encounter, pretty much those two, which you originally have on Office, known as Outlook. Then for internet, of course, we have Firefox web browser and Google web browser, which at this point, pretty much does everything Windows internet store does, and then some more. We also have Pigeon Internet Messenger, which pretty much supports, as you can see, stuff for AIM, Google Talk, Jabber, XMP, MSN, Yahoo, and a few other ones. Under graphics, we have Blender, which is pretty much your fully 3D rendered program. F Spot Photo Manager, basically another iPhoto. GIMP, which is a very, very good image editor, which is almost as good as Photoshop. When I say it's almost as good as Photoshop, I mean it's literally almost Photoshop. Open Office, Drawing. Basically, Microsoft Paint on Steroids. There's no other way to explain it. It's just Microsoft on micro MS Paint on Steroids. Then, of course, you have something to pretty much work for your scanners. Now we get to the part where a lot of people want to see the games. As you can see, we have a few of the programs you get in Windows. Right here we have Ultra, NES Emulator for those who want to play your old NES games that have homemade or homebrew NES ROMs and of course ZSNES for SNES ROMs. Classical game known as Abuse. It's a pretty good shooter where it basically is a size pretty much like Metroid but you move around your character or if the arrow keys on the keyboard and shoot around with your mouse. It's pretty nice. Neverball, pretty much a 3D arcade game pretty much similar to Monk 2 or Monkey Ball and if you have the right drivers on a machine that supports Bluetooth controllers and not a hack your Wii Remote is even better. Half Frozen Bubble which is basically Bubble Bubble Puzzle Clone. And of course you have Chrome BSU, one of the best scrolling shooter games out there. Nexus <laughs> one of the best 3D shooting games you can get right now definitely for free definitely a must try and after that definitely want to look at open arena which is basically a souped up version of Quake 3 which is also free Super Tux is basically Super Mario Brothers 1 with Tux the Penguin as the characters you're going to use and slightly updated graphics and of course you have Yo Frankie which is basically Mario 64, pretty much open source version of Mario 64 but unfortunately it's still kind of in beta mode so graphics actually look pretty much as good as you will see in Super Mario Sunshine but gameplay wise, uh, it's kind of more like, unfortunately I hate to say this, but it's, the best way to say this is it looks like Super Mario Sunshine, but it plays like Superman 64 at this point. Hate to go there, but yeah, it plays Superman 64, so yeah, they really need to work on the controls in that game.